Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to another gloomy freaking day. I don't know about you, but I am sick of this weather. Granted, Mike and I were in Napa last week and we missed the beautiful 80 degree day, but it seems like we were here and the weather was crap. And then we went to Napa and the weather, nothing about Napa could ever be crap, but the weather was not, it was the worst weather that we've ever had while in California. So we missed the nice weather here, caught the bad weather in California, left the good weather in California to come back to the bad weather weather here. I'm not complaining. I'm just updating. I need a little bit of light in my life. I'm not gonna lie to you. I know you're probably thinking, check, you were just in Napa. And I was, and I had the best time. I've had so much anxiety. Everything is going a million miles a minute. Letting things bother me that are minuscule and unimportant has been something that I've been struggling with this month. I'm filming my favorites of April today and I realized that I put no TLC into myself this month. I did not really wear a lot of makeup. I did not do any kind of like facial things, which is why I woke up and I made it a mission to do my new face device. I'm not gonna lie. I was sitting here last night editing a video and I was like, maybe I should go get some Botox again. And then I said to myself, no, you don't need to do that. I've been neglecting myself. So I did my new face. I'm already feeling better. I'm taking my Merit Great Skin. This is just like a serum that looks beautiful under Merit's, their perfecting sticks, but I also like to throw it on after I do the new face. And this is a nice lightweight oil that does and clog my pores I wear while I work out because that's usually what I do. I new face in the morning, drink my coffee, and then I get in a workout and I just need a little bit of moisturizer, just something to keep my skin hydrated. I really don't have plans this weekend. Honestly, this is the weekend between our trip. April has been a whirlwind, but we were in Napa last week and we're going to Nashville Wednesday. I'm so excited for Nashville. We're going to Nashville. The reason we're going to Nashville is for the Tim McGraw concert. If you know me, you know, I am like the biggest Tim McGraw fan and I feel bad for my husband because I subject him and this will be the third Tim McGraw concert that he's ever been to. I think I've been to like 12. I'm not kidding you. That will be next week's vlog. If you're interested, um, subscribe, click the bell. This way you get a notification. Today I sat down to journal for the first time since my birthday. My birthday is April 4th. You know, like when you can feel Feel the difference in yourself because you've neglected yourself. I really need to refocus my focus on me and stop caring about things that don't matter and stop letting people who don't play a big enough role in my life dictate my feelings. I just feel like I've been a little sensitive this month and I do think it's because I've been neglecting myself. This week was a lot in terms of my workload and I am exhausted and I am drained. I need to like switch off, which has also been an issue for me. I need to switch off work mode into relaxation mode. On Saturdays, I have so much anxiety and it's like, it's Saturday. Why do you have so much anxiety? It's the weekend. It's because I need to be better at switching off because by the time I switch off, it's like Sunday morning. And then I get the Sunday scaries at like two o'clock Sunday afternoon. I have a lot of work that needs to be put into myself. I'm gonna take you along for it on this little vlog. So if you're having a bad time, maybe you're neglecting yourself like I've been neglecting myself and maybe we need to get back on the loving ourselves train, which for me, it means skincare, reading, journaling, yoga, which I went back to yoga last night for the first time in like a month because it's just been crazy. We've had birthdays, We've had travel. We've just had a lot of things that have been keeping me from my Friday night yoga. And y'all know, oh, the one time it was canceled the last time. I live for my Friday night yoga. It's like the best way to start my weekend. And last night it was so good. And then I don't know what happened. I woke up this morning and had heart palpitations. That's how much, that's how much anxiety I have. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because I've been talking a lot, but I just love to open these vlogs up speaking to you guys. And I'm trying to like not put it on my husband because the both of us have been going at a million miles a minute. I don't know if that's the right answer. So I, I'm not putting it on him, my friend, <laughs> but I'm putting it on you. So buckle up buttercup and let's get our weekend started. I have not been cleaning the house, which I also think is kind of contributing. Also, I anxiety clean. Just took a deep breath because I am like quickly cleaning this room because I'm thinking about all the things that I need to do today. And I said to myself, and you know that I'm crazy and that I'm willing to share this journey with you because I stopped myself in the middle of dusting and said, take a deep breath. This is your home that I am honestly so thankful for that I, I have 
with my husband. Like I need to take a second and be present and stop running to the next thing. That is why my anxiety has been so terrible because that's just how I've been operating. I've been operating in anxiousness and like go, go, go. And I need to just bring it back. So hopefully cleaning the house, my husband and I can enjoy it the rest of today and tomorrow. Get yourself a good Christian boy. He's gonna kill me. So this is what I'm doing. And then I need to go finish working out. I'm taking a break from my workout to clean. Who is she? I don't know. Guys, this is me. Is anyone, can anyone else relate? I know that the lighting is just terrible, but honestly I'm cleaning. Maybe this is relevant and helpful to someone else who's a psychotic, crazy person like me. Take a deep breath. Let's all take a deep breath together. I should also definitely do some yoga today. book that my husband recommended to me it's called husbands by i think gloria something i don't know we talked about it but almost halfway through and i gotta say it is really like speaking to me and i like that it's kind of like a self-help book a story about a woman who just maybe took things for granted now that she's going through this crazy thing making her realize that nothing really lasts forever but it doesn't say that it just like shows you that like it shows you that emotion through the book i feel like it's doing a really good job speaking to me and letting me know that like this is my life like this is our home like this is where i'm at right now i'm not going to be here forever so i need to just like embrace the now i need to clean the home which i cleaned the entire upstairs i've been cleaning for most of the day i cleaned for like four hours today and it was like pounds of dust and i was having like a mini manic episode which i don't i'm I don't use that phrase lightly, but I just, I feel like when I get my anxiety, like, and you guys know, cause I talk about it all the time. Like sometimes I'm just like, I'm talking like a million miles a minute and it's kind of like, I have like ADHD. Like I bop and I bop and I bop. I was walking and then I stopped working out and was like, okay, I did my 40 minute walk. I got my steps in. I need to do like a 30 minute workout, but I was like, oh, but I also need to vacuum. So then I left the basement. I came upstairs. I vacuumed the bedroom. I was only going to vacuum the bedroom and it's just like a snowball and it's just like, it becomes like a, uh, this that this that it's like i'm bopping all around which sometimes works to my advantage which is like the terrible part about it because i've talked about this and like i've said when i was younger and i used to have anxiety like i it used to work to my benefit i would hustle 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 to like get to where i wanted to go but i feel like my life hasn't really like panned out the way that i had hoped that it would career wise like honestly my personal life i could never in a million years imagine it being as amazing as it is i did something right you know growing up it wasn't like a sin Cinderella, like I've always dreamt of my wedding, but I always dreamt of like having a partner who was like my teammate, like someone that I could just love and rely on. And that was always like my biggest aspiration. I was also very career goal oriented and I still kind of am, although I have no idea what I want to do with my life. And that's the hard part. I'm so thankful for my personal life and I need to like focus more on that. Like I really want to refocus my energy for the remainder of this year. Like that's a big goal for me. I put it in my notes. Like I have a daily to-do list of things things like journaling, reading, working out, walking, like things that make me happy. And I try to tick off at least a few every day for my mental sanity. And I haven't even opened my notepad on my phone until Mike and I got back from Napa because I was like, I am not well. I think we just got back from Napa and I was like, wow, I'm depressed that we're back from Napa. And I'm like, no, but I can't be like that. I need to be thankful and grateful for every day. I'm back in my little to-do list that I was really rocking for like the first two months of this year. Literally it says to-do and then under it, it says focus your energy on you. I need to just focus my energy 
on me and not let silly like little nothings silly little nothings annoy me because that has been where i've been living recently like i just feel very sensitive and it's like oh, she looked at me the wrong way today and then it's just like i'm like annoyed about that for like hours no i need to just like let it roll let it roll i need to get back to what i said i wanted to do like six months ago which is become a more grateful version of me so today mike told me that he wants to take carry-ons to nashville i have not packed in a carry-on and I can't even tell you how many trips. It's been years, I think. The problem is my shoes because I was gonna buy cowboy boots for this trip, but now I'm definitely not because I can't pack all of it. But now I'm going through my makeup bag and I'm trying to see like what I can get rid of in here just to like downsize a bit. I'm trying to think of like the things that I didn't use when I was doing my makeup. So I didn't use a sponge, so I'm not gonna bring that. I definitely used this eyeshadow palette and I'm really enjoying it. So let's keep that. Definitely need powder. I need to grab a new puff. My puff was so disgusting. I tossed it. I don't think I wanna wear this blush. I just I think I wanna mix it up for this trip. I need my hair ties. I need my sharpener. Okay, there's actually like not that much makeup in here. I have way too many lipsticks. I think we're gonna keep it to a nude and a red. I think I'm just gonna wear the the nude that I'm wearing today and we'll wear this red and then I will put all these other ones back because I brought seven lipsticks to Napa and I don't think I needed that many. I need a nude lip liner, pinkier lip liner, and then I need a red lip liner and that'll be all the lip stuff that I take. I kind of want to bring this even though I didn't wear this once. I didn't put this damn eyeshadow on once but I don't know. Am I gonna want to be a little bit more fantabulous? Probably not. I've been wearing Gucci Bloom nonstop. It smells so pretty. I'm wearing it today, but I have the pump version and then my Aunt Debbie gave me this little travel guy and I literally take him everywhere. Let's think. I wake up in the morning, I put my moisturizer on, my SPF on, my deodorant on, that's all in here. I pin my hair back, put some little red eyes in my eyes. If they're red, I put a little bit of foundation on. I'm gonna bring my Say skin tint. I don't know, I'm just enjoying this. Concealer, Dior. After concealer, I go in with my contour stick. I need a blush, cause I don't wanna wear this one again. Let me think. Do this one. This is probably my favorite blush of all time. Rush Hour in Tower 28. It's such a good color. I paint my nails too, oh my God. Such a good color. Okay, contour, I blush. I need my powder. And then I set again with my powder, bronzer, my brow whiz, and I'm not gonna bring this. Further set with a little bit of pigmented powder. This is cement for the face. If you need your makeup to last all day, this is where it's at. Lash curler, brown and black mascara. I don't know. And this makes no sense because I either do the brown or I do no mascara, but I can't leave Lancome Lashy Doll home. I just can't do it. I'm just gonna bring one eyeliner. This is the Nabla Cupid's Arrow Dark Espresso shade. It's like a crayon, I don't know. Let's just bring that. I was bringing this like contour stick. Lord knows I'm not gonna use this, so let's not bring it. And I should just wash these, honestly. So I'll wash my brushes. What do I need? I need to put these things away. I decided against my e.l.f. lipsticks, which they had a good run and I still really do love them. I just, I like a little bit more jutsy lately. Fresh new puff for my powder and I'm gonna bring YSL in 44 just cause I like a pink. I got a nudie brown, like a pinky brown. I have a brown kind of nude. The one that I'm wearing today is 205. Which did I pack that one? I think I did. I just showed it to you, didn't I? Yeah, 205. Okay, so 205 and 44. I love the Love Shine ones. I love the Love Shine ones, guys. I think these are my favorite. I don't know. I don't know which one is which anymore. I've lost track. Do I need to wash my brushes? I should. That's really disgusting. I should, but honestly, I should. I just should, right? Okay, fine. She shall. All right, but this is done. This is not big enough. It's not big enough. <sighs> so I... Given that we're going to a Tim McGraw concert, I feel like I need to wear a Tim McGraw t-shirt or like, do I dress up to like look fancy at Tim McGraw? I think I need to have both options depending upon what mood I'm in. Like, do I want to celebrate Tim and how many times I've seen him? I'm like one of those people. I'm one of those girls that I have a bunch of t-shirts. I never wear them. I'm always in my pajamas, okay? I'm gonna buy another one though when I go for damn sure. I pick one up and I'm like, oh my God, I love this one. And then I pick up the next one and I'm like, wait, no, this is my favorite. I actually love them all. Although do keep in mind, I wear them to concerts and that's about it. There's this one, which is the 2022 tour. I went with Mike, that was exciting. Oh, 
2022. I saw him twice in 2022. But I feel like when you go to a Tim McGraw concert, you need to like throw it back as far as you possibly can. 2012 tour, 12 years ago. And I do love this shirt. Look at him on this shirt. And then here's the back. Like this is a good throwback, okay? Like that, okay, so that's the oldest one I have thus far. Which one is this one? 2013, we saw him again. And this one's so soft. 2013, what is this from? This one feels old too. Does it say emotional traffic? This is from 2011. I think this is my oldest one. I thought this was my oldest one. So we have 2011, 2012, 2013. 2013, did I buy two? I think I bought two that year. And then 2022. I feel like I'm missing one in here. I feel like I always wear this one. Would you pick this one? Or would you pick this one from 2011? I feel like I might pick this one. And I feel like I always pick this one as well. I don't know, I'm gonna try them on. Maybe we'll try them on together. I'm so sorry. I do you like Tim McGraw because I love Tim McGraw. I really wanted to get a Tim McGraw tattoo while we were there, but it just like didn't come to fruition. In case you're wondering, this is what we're drinking tonight. Justin Cabernet from Paso Robles, 2019. 2019 personally is my favorite year of wine in case you're a wino like I am. And my coworker bought me this for my birthday, which was so nice of him. Oh my God, I just poured him like a hefty glass. I'm going to cut up some tomatoes and we're going to eat because if not, me and Chloe are going to start howling at the moon. Moon being Michael to hurry up because we're hungry. You don't dislike it? It's good though. We're just California cabs. Napa cabs. What are we gonna clean tomorrow? I clean the dumpster and bathroom and kitchen floor. You just use these two rooms now. They're like little lasagna sheets rolled. Yeah. Oh my god, so sexual. Don't tell Donna. Don't show Donna. Wow. Everybody's here for dinner time. Especially the court side. We've got four minutes of three Good morning. Good morning, my loves. Um, yesterday was such a productive day and I got a late start this morning. I woke up at 9.15. Well, honestly, I woke up at 8.30 and then I laid in bed until 9.15 because your girl is PMSing. Just feel and Yesterday, I burned over 850 calories on my move ring between working out and cleaning most of the house, like 85% of the house we cleaned yesterday. So today, I'm just gonna finish vacuuming down here so that we can say that we cleaned 100% in the house. Do not ever buy an expensive suitcase because look at my suitcase. She is battered and bruised. So I would say one, never spend a lot of money on luggage and two, do not get a light color. Mike's is a darker blue than this and his has held up way better than mine. Um, and I have cleaned her several times. I've cleaned her several times. The back isn't as terrible, but yeah, don't get it. Don't do light and don't spend a lot of money.
You're so cute, I love you. Oh, my lover, I must pet you, I must. I must pet you, ooh. I'm not drop you though, ooh. All right, all right, all right, I'm here, I'm here. I love you, come on, let's go upstairs. Come on. Okay, let's go. to top golf for my brother's birthday we just got back i cannot explain to you how exhausted i am from like all the cleaning that we did today and then all the cleaning that i did today no all the cleaning that we did yesterday and then all the cleaning that we did today anywho i washed my hair today and my hair does this phenomenon where the day that i wash it it's kind of red like see it's like a copper i don't know and then as I progress in the days of not washing it, it gets blonder. I've never purchased any kind of souvenir from Napa whenever Mike and I have, have gone. I love souvenirs. I think it's no secret, you guys know, I love shopping, um, I love things. Things make me happy, especially if it's like something that I can wear and like tie into a memory. So anyway, I digress. In our itinerary, you we were go, 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 go. Like there was really no time for chilling. And I think that next time when we go back, we need to incorporate a little bit more chill, but we had like no time to shop. So we like sped shop. And not a lot of places had like Napa things, but we walked all down First Ave. I looked at all of the options. We walked down, I scoped them out, I saw this and then like decided at the end that this was the best thing. So then we went back. I purchased this sweatshirt. It is very large, um, but honestly, I don't mind it. I just like cuffed the sleeves. And honestly, I have freezing cold hands as Michael. He yells at me every time I touch him that this would be good to like warm my hands up. But anyway, I don't know. I think this is super cute. I wish, I wish it just said Napa Valley and then didn't have the California or the vineyards, but like it is what it is. But. I just like this because it's literally what I think of when I think of Napa. And I don't know, I wanted to share this with you because I'm very excited for not only being in my jammies and getting to snuggle for the rest of the night, um, but I'm also really excited that I finally have something that says Napa. My skin is not doing great, but I washed my penny color hair. So she's nice and floofy. Um, and yeah, I just, I went to Top Golf barefaced came home, the house feels just like so much better now that we literally spent the entire weekend cleaning. But now I'm trying to just like go through all of my things. You guys know, like prepare for the week. My Sunday scaries are on fleek because I was on vacation. I don't know how I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. Like I slept in every day this weekend. I'm just like unpacking my bag. I love her. I need to stop talking about her, but like I'm wondering if I should take her to Nashville too. Oh, and I went to Walgreens. I needed a deodorant. I always use clinical strength from Secret. I'm not a good smelling person, but I've never tried completely clean, but I like the clear gel. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit all of my clothes. I need to fit my makeup. I need to fit my toiletries. It's just, I don't, I only have one set of workout clothes in there. I need to pack two more. This is excessive and I don't need every single Tim McGraw t-shirt, but I still haven't decided which Tim McGraw t-shirt I wanna bring. And I'm still waiting for my Run the Runway. So yeah, I'm gonna say this is a no-go and I'm gonna have to pack in my destroyed away bag, which is my check suitcase. I'm just, I've, I'm past this. I feel as though a carry-on was once feasible for me, once being when I was in my 20s and we would go away and I would wear like skin tight dresses, but like this is who I have become and like this is who I truly am. The excessive amount of socks, the oversized sweatpant like jeans that I love, they just, they don't fit in a carry-on. But that's also another dilemma because I was in Nordstrom today. Mike and I, we went to Top Golf and then we went to Nordstrom because Mike needed to return some things and I was like, let me just peruse because you know, spring, summer is coming out and I don't really have a lot of spring and summer clothes, but I do run the runway, so that is a saving grace. I tried on a pair of jean shorts. Here lies the problem. I live in my Hudson jeans. Like when I tell you, I wear them every day, pretty much. Except for like the days that I go to work and I don't wear jeans, but you know, like every day in my real life. I mean, it is all my real life, which is what I'm trying to like, you know, I, you know, be grateful for it all. Anyway, in life, when I'm not working, I wear my Hudson jeans every single day. And they, as you know, are like sweatpants jeans. But now I'm like, 
what am I gonna do when it's like 80, 90, 100 degrees outside? Like I can't wear sweatpants jeans. I never have ever liked jean shorts. I feel very uncomfortable. We all have things that we don't like about, our, about ourselves. And growing up, I've always had larger legs. And please don't judge me, but I'm just like bigger in the leg booty department. I'm just bigger there. Jean shorts, they ride up my legs. They ride up my tush. It's just uncomfortable. I own one pair of jean shorts. They are Hudson. So maybe I should just get Hudson because clearly Hudson is the only, are they Hudson? I'm pretty sure they are. Hudson is the only jean brand that I like. I tried jean shorts on and it's they it sent me. Like I came out of the, I came out of the fitting room and I saw my husband and I was like I was kind of on the verge of tears in the fitting room which he doesn't know this when I was trying them on because I'm just like what what am I gonna wear in the summer to feel comfortable because I cannot tell you like I'm a little weird as we all know but I find comfort in like certain clothing pieces now this is definitely going to be like a comfort piece for me i just feel so comfortable in my hudson jeans and now i feel so uncomfortable in any other jean except for the pair of jeans that my sister gave me the one pair i absolutely love them so but i don't know but i can't wear them in the summer you have been forewarned if you are not a short kind of gal um it sent me it absolutely sent me oh i think someone's trying to come in no no scratches trying to be cute but see this is how you're fresh odd fresh come on yes come on do you want to come with me on my trip do you because i would love to take you on my trip with me even though you're fresh even though you're fresh <laughs> what's the matter you want to come in here until i want to know you and then you don't want to know me anymore he's getting his spring summer coat oh my god he's shedding everywhere like everywhere. It's like every time I pet him, there's like gobs of hair that come off of him. And I just vacuumed the whole house. I've been brushing him every single day. Look at this guy, just like look at him. This sweet baby angel, don't you just wanna like, I just, I can't help it. I can't help it. Look, you're getting fresh though, I see it. I feel it. I feel the freshness coming. It's the tail whips. That's when you know it's a foe, not a friend. <laughs> no, don't scratch the floor. Oh my God, so much hair. No, be nice. Don't bite me. Don't, not my new sweatshirt. Don't rip it, please. Just love me. Good boy. I feel like, oh, I'm not playing because I love my sweatshirt and how dare you. But your hair is everywhere. Your hair is every, oh, your hair is everywhere. Fresh, freshy, freshy, freshy. Look at how cute you are though. How could I, how could you be so fresh to me? Oh, I love you. I don't want to wear a tight little skirt, dress, whatever, like all day. I have phases of me. If I'm bloated, I'm not wearing that, okay? If I'm tired, I'm not wearing that, okay? If I'm feeling it for like an outing where we go to like one place and then I wanna like change to something more casual, like I might feel that. I'm just, I have different moods, I have different sides and I don't, I can't just like shove myself into something. Anybody else? Like I can't just shove myself into anything anymore. I have to be feeling it. It has to be a mood. I also need to figure out what I'm wearing this week. So let us do that together. I love how it was supposed to be sunny today and it's not sunny at all, but it's gonna be, Alexa, what's the weather tomorrow? Mostly sunny, high of 61. I wish we were in Napa, cause then I would just be drinking wine and not caring what I looked like. But honestly, I wanna care more, a little bit more. Most of the time, I feel like I'm just tired and I can't put in nearly as much effort as I do when I make the time or care to make the time. I would like to look cute tomorrow and go to work, but the reality is that I'm probably gonna sleep until the very last minute. I'm gonna roll out of bed, I'm gonna brush my teeth, throw some deodorant on, some perfume on, and just like throw my clothes on and call it a day. But I would really like to wake up and work out and shower, obviously, and do my makeup at home and not have to do it on the bus because I'm tired of doing my makeup on the bus, you know? I just wanna get it together. I wanna feel motivated to enjoy my day, but that has not been happening recently and I need to shake the funk. Shake it off. I picked out a few options. I really enjoy picking out clothes and I need to make more time 
to do it. I feel like I kind of do it and it's like, I'm just like angry and bitter because it's like last minute. I'm trying to rush into relaxing. It's already 7 p.m. on Sunday, you know? I need to relax and unwind. But I just feel like I'm always rush, rush, rush in everything. And that's just like been the topic of my life recently. It takes the joy out of everything. So I just really enjoyed putting together these two outfits. Well, it could be like honestly three or four outfits, but tomorrow I just, I'm not so sure how to dress in the spring because I get hot pretty easily. I'm thinking these cost pants, they look dark and wintry, but they're very light. So I don't wear these in the winter cause they're not warm enough, but they have a really cute like billowy shape. I'm thinking maybe like with this sweater, like I don't know, like I'm a little bloated, I'm PMSing. So like maybe the sweater with the navy pants. What do we think? I know you can't see. Or I was thinking if I'm waking up and feeling bossy, because again, I have a, I have a lot of different moods. If I'm feeling bossy, maybe I wanna wear a blazer, like, you know? So I'm thinking a navy blouse, sleeveless. Little cute ruffles with said pants that I just showed. I tuck it in like so. Maybe in red, like I feel like that's a power move. And then these pants that I just need to grow a pair and wear them. I don't know what it is. I love them. I had them shortened because they were too long. They're like a silky pant. I got them on banana. Champagne gold and very soft, lightweight. So I was thinking I could do this with that sweater again if I don't do that sweater tomorrow. So just like a gold sweater, you know? Oh no, <gasps> it got stuck on my cable knit sweater. I really can't believe I just did that. I just pulled my sweater. Or I was thinking a white tank top, just like a white tank top. really need a revamp of the wardrobe my god like I don't wear any of these blouses and yet why do I keep holding on to them I need to just donate them but I donated so much clothing today it was insane and I also do that thing where I'll just donate everything and then I have absolutely nothing in my closet and then I'm like wow why didn't I just phase that out you know so I had a few more options but I've been holding on to a lot of these t-shirts not t-shirts, but like these blouses up here for a very long time. So they need to go. But anyway, I am going to enjoy the rest of my night. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm sorry if this was like kind of me putting my emotions on you, but I really want to be more present. And I think that more of us could use that. Honestly, the world is so crazy and it goes at such a fast rate that maybe, you know, we need to just be one with the now. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah. Can I help you? I'm gonna have a glass of wine. Do you want a glass of wine? Okay. There's nothing like pasta and wine. Look at this three course dinner. My second course, I'll have that plant. What a time. No, I don't wanna share this with you. I'm so sorry. I'll share a rib with you. I'm not sharing my eggplant.